Okay, so thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, when we started our session, we started by looking back at, first of all, the overarching development objectives for the CMA2 project, and then especially the overarching development objective that we thought was most relevant for our particular group, which was the one on the sustainable management of shared living marine resources in the two large marine ecosystems. Um, we, it was recalled that the project will support these development objectives by operationalizing uh, online technological platforms or mechanisms to exchange information. We refer to the fact that the original proposal said spatial data, but we also put on the table the question whether we should really limit to spatial data or if a platform, an atlas, should not also consider the implementation of time series and, and other kinds of uh, data. Um, we also revisit the linkage between uh, this development objective and the 10-year strategic action program for the CLME Plus region, which had three priority issues that it wants to address, which are pollution, habitat degradation, and unsustainable fisheries. So then the question towards the participants was that uh, as we go into the identification of the needs for information based on reporting obligations or needs of information for decision making or monitor evaluation of programs and initiatives, uh, that a reference was made to those three priorities. We then also took consideration of the fact that the SAP is an umbrella program and that we were hoping that the many organizations and the many projects represented in the meeting would all help or would all contribute to the implementation of this very broad action program. And in that context, we differentiated between two specific roles which can be linked to monitoring evaluation or reporting requirements. Among the participants, we had governance bodies with a formal mandate given by the countries of the region to deal with certain of these priority issues. And we also had representatives from projects and initiatives which would not have a formal mandate, but which, would, which could fulfill a supporting role towards these, uh, these goals and these, these, the, 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 the problem solving of these issues under the formal governance arrangements. So um, what we try to do then, after some back and forth and, and finding a way forward to our discussions, we brought this table, uh, we, pro we projected this table, and we went around the table to have the different participants filling in the different sections. So first of all, we're looking at, do you represent an organization? Uh, what's the organization's name? Uh, does it correspond to a project, to an initiative? Uh, what's the time frame? Is it an ongoing mandate that you have? Or is it a project that will be implemented in a certain time frame? What is the scope? Is it regional? Is it sub-regional? Is it a project that is being implemented in a specific number of countries? And if possible, what are these countries? And what is the thematic scope of your mandate, your reporting needs, or the work that you will do under your project? So from that perspective, we then also analyzed uh, what would be the need or what would be the topics covered through the reporting requirement or through the monitoring evaluation framework that you would set up in the context of or your mandate or the project you're responsible for. And then we also wanted to obtain some information on whether you already have a data platform for that purpose or whether that data platform is something that you would specifically want to see developed. Um, at the last moment, we added an additional column where we try to make a clearer difference between which entries correspond to reporting obligations and which are rather uh, voluntary initiatives. And then also whether you think that you can meet your management and evaluation or your reporting needs based on existing data that may be held by other institutions or at the global level, or whether data would need to be developed for this. Um, it was a relatively short time frame to deal with this. So we tried to capture 
the information you can see in this table. I'm not sure, I don't think it's very useful to read through it. I think it's more important for the plenary to know that the information was captured, that it's not complete, however, but that the idea now is to redistribute this table to all those that were participating so that they can further complement. Because the observation was also made, what about projects that are not represented here, but that we know of, and that we believe may also be very relevant. So uh, that's mostly it. This table would now go out, and we hope to have then a further completed and improved version very soon. Um, and then I hope that we can also use it as reference material for some of the sessions that are to come in the next few days. That's mostly it so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for this. Still a lot of work to be done.